Hey there, how's it going everybody? Hey, it's a uh, Thursday and uh, just finished up this big grid tie system right here. Uh, we got 42 panels of the Solar World 285s uh, using the Enphase M250 microinverters. Uh, we're right around 12 kW, right shy of that. And uh, this is just a standard grid tie system. Um, it was mainly just installed just so they could uh, save money on their utility bill, prevent against uh, rising costs and whatnot. Uh, it's turned out to be a great system, nice layout. Uh, it was a little intricate. Uh, the the building department here will only let me do 12 inch overhangs. And so it kind of created for a little bit different stagger than I normally would do. But ultimately it looks kind of cool. Kind of looks brick lay, like wood floor or tile. I kind of like how it looks. But uh, we wound up on this project. The roof only had a good, you know, four or five years left. So we had a roofing contractor come in and they replaced just the sex and section underneath the solar array. So that way I won't have to come back, you know, and they do the whole roof in four years and save them some money in the long run. So, you know, this is a nice looking system. Um, it's probably one of my number one ones that I do with the Solar World in-phase combos. Uh, you know, it's going to already be protected against the upcoming rapid shutdown disconnect stuff that's going to be required in the future. So we kind of did like the, the next gen system, which is pretty much standard with in-phase, which is why I like it. So hold on just one second and we'll walk around the house. All right, here we are over at the main panel. Uh, we can see, man, this thing is just cranking away right now, if you can see that. Uh, we're doing about 36 amps at 240 into the grid. Uh, we got some great back feed going. Uh, we just had this meter switched out yesterday when I did a main breaker change. I had to derate the main breaker down to a 175. Uh, the system exceeds the 20% back feed capability, so we had to derate it so that we can feed a 60 amp breaker back into the system. Um, but this thing is cranking. Uh, we started out at zero yesterday when I came here. The meter was at 20 kilowatt hours. I've had this thing on probably about 15, 20 minutes uh, roughly, and we're already back to 18 kilowatt hours. So we're going to be shaving some serious power off this system, and uh, it's going to be a, a good producer. I think it's offsetting roughly about 90% of the, your utility load. Uh, our local jurisdiction with our Reading Electric, they typically try to size them around 80 to 90 percent. Um, it's 90 percent of their current loads, but they wanted to do a little more air conditioning, so we kind of they let us go a little bit bigger. One of the things they also require uh, they require us to do a utility disconnect, um, so we got all that in. Uh, they, we also have to do a, a UV stable plaque to identify the generator number. So got all of course the West Coast Sustainable Contact information, everything good to go. Uh, if we walk around back in here into the garage, we'll see the good part. So this is the in-phase uh, MNACE combiner for three strings. I really like this box a lot. Um, it's a little spendy, uh, but most of the people don't really mess with the Envoy anyways. Uh, it's all going to be wirelessly fed into the Enlightened, so we, uh, we just got to keep this thing all in here nice and tidy. And uh, did all the wiring. I like it to look clean, label everything. Uh, I got one other big sticker being made, and that's going to be for, uh, uh, I'm going to put a diagram of the system on the back side of the cover right here. And of course, the guys are starting to mow right now when I'm trying to talk, and i got to get out of here. So, uh, again, this is just a nice grid tie system. Got all three strings running up to the Soledad combiners, up through the attic, feeding AC down, and wiring this system up. So. Uh, Hope you like this quick little overview. If you got any questions about the Midnight Combiner, uh, give me a holler. Shout out me on the on the message topic board, and uh, I'll let you know where you can find that thing. And any other questions, let me know. Have a great day.